Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how navigation is made simple with Jetpack Navigation Component. Navigation Components have three parts. Navigation Graph, Navigation Host Fragment and Navigation Controller. Navigation Graph is an XML resource that contains all navigation related information in one centralized location. Navigation host fragment is an empty container that displays destinations from navgraph. Navigation controller is an object that manages apps navigation. Let's see the advantages of using navigation component. It automatically handles fragment transactions. It correctly handles the up to and back by default. There are few default behaviors and animations that can be added using the nav graph. Deep linking is made more simpler and implementing navigation UIs like navigation drawer and bottom navigation with some additional work and it is made more easier. Type safety while we pass arguments while navigating. Now as we know what navigation component is, let's see how it works. I am going to implement bottom navigation using Jetpack's navigation component. For this, I have created a sample application that only has an empty activity with three fragments in it. And this is the layout of the empty activity. It only has a text view inside. And these are the three fragments that are going to be replaced after adding the bottom navigation. And this is the layout of the fragment, which only has a text of what the fragment is going to be for us to understand once the transition is happening. Let's start by adding the dependencies for navigation. So for this, we will get the dependencies in the official Android website. So I'm going to copy the dependencies from there and paste it into our Gradle file. I will leave the link in the description. Once the dependencies are pasted into the Gradle file, we need to sync the project and wait until the project has been fully synced. Next, we will create the nav graph. For that, we need to right click on the resource folder and create a resource file. The name can be of anything as we wish. So I will just name it as nav graph and select navigation in resource type section. And now we can click OK. So the nav graph will be created. Now, once the nav graph is created, we can see there is an option inside that to add the activities or fragments. So I'm going to add all three fragments into this. Once added, we also need to select the destination, the start destination. This is the XML that shows all the fragments. So now I'm going to set up the layouts for it just for our understanding. So I will type tools and then add layout and whatever desired layout for accounts fragment, I'll be adding the account layout. So I'll be doing this for all three fragments. So after that, if you click outside the nav graph, you will get the ID label and the start destination in your right side corner. So there we need to change the start destination. Currently it is as account fragment. I want to change it as home fragment. So the home fragment will be the start destination for me. So once the nav graph is set up, now I'll go to the main activity and set up the nav host fragment and bottom navigation. For that, first I'm removing the text view and then I'm adding a fragment container view. So I'm setting the width and the height to match parent and the ID is going to be nav host fragment. And as it is a constrained layout, I need to set up the constraints. So I'm setting up the constraints.
and after that i'm giving default nav host to true and we also need to map the nav graph to this fragment container view and below the fragment container view i'm adding the bottom navigation i'm setting the width to match parent and the height to 60 dp and then i'm setting the id of it to bottom navigation and also i need to add the constraints and after that i'm going to create a menu file which will be the tabs for the bottom navigation for that i will right click on the resource folder and then i'll be creating a new resource file there i'll name the file name as bottom nav menu and the resource type i'll select it as menu and click okay so the menu file has been created now so we need to add the items inside the menu now for that i'll type the tag item and then i'll give the id as home fragment and i'll also add an icon to it for the icon i don't have any icons now so i'm going to get an icon from vector assets for that we need to right click on resource select vector assets and here i'm getting a home icon and i'm going to add it to the icons the last thing to add in this item will be the title so i'm going to set the title as home and i'm going to copy paste this same item two more times so that we have three tabs and then i'm going to change the id and the name i'm going to give different icons and ids for everything you can give any icon as of your wish and now we need to map the menu to the bottom navigation view for that i'm going to give app menu and then map this bottom nav menu over here now we are all set and the last thing we need to do is to initialize everything in the main activity we need to add the nav host fragment at the controller into the activity so i'm creating a variable called as nav host fragment and adding find fragment by id and setting it has nav host fragment and then i'm creating a variable called as nav controller and setting the nav host fragments controller to it finally we need to initialize the bottom navigation and set the id of it and set up the bottom navigation's controller to nav control once this is done we can just run the application and see what happens
So now you can see we have the bottom navigation and on clicking on each fragment, the title inside the layout also changes. And whichever fragment has been clicked, the item has also been automatically selected. So we don't have to do any extra operations for selecting that item or handling backstack or anything. The navigation controller handles everything. And I forgot to change the names in the menu. So I'm just going to change all the names and run the application again and see. The application is installed now. Now you can see the menu's names are also changed and on clicking on any item, the fragment also gets changed. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.